Patricia Suek, lovely to have you here with us okay. at the Swiss Innovation Day. Now, you've just given a presentation in representation of um, your hotel school, EHL, and the organisation that you support there, YHS. Would you like to just give us a little bit of a background on YHS? Of course. And then talk a little bit about what you were presenting to the audience today as a student to real life hoteliers and technology providers in our industry. Um, so YHS stands for Young Hotelier Summit and it's a three-day conference that we hold every year um, at our school. Um, it's been going for 10 years, it's exclusively run by students um, and it's the biggest uh, conference in the world um, in the hospitality sector. Um, so what I was presenting was the report, the YHS ranking um, report that we create every year year for that conference. So basically we ask uh, students that are about to graduate or young alumni what they think, what they want um, out of the job market um, and what their aspirations are. So I was here to present that right after um, a speech on talent shortage in our industry. So I was to present the solutions to the problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what were some of the, well first of all give us some of the problems, what maybe would be the top three problems mm -hmm. and what are the solutions? Um, so we, we, Probably the biggest problem is that people are not staying in the industry right. um, or they are um, first going into the industry but then leaving. Um, I think that's probably the biggest one um, and also that um, it's hard to find good people um, that are really, really motivated um, as hospitality is an industry where a lot of people just end up kind of. Mm. It happens a lot and not the really motivated people that mm. end up staying. Mm. So um, one thing that we found, uh, something that we millennials often have to hear is that we actually don't want to stay um, with one company for like a long time. We want to do job hopping. We want to change positions like all the time and learn as much as possible in this, like as fast as possible. So the, one of the most interesting things that we found was that actually when we asked students who are about to graduate how long they want to stay with their first employer, they said 50% of them said one to two years, mm -hmm. which is actually pretty okay. Mm. So our um, aspirations, what we want to do, they're, they're good, so we want to stay with our first employee for almost two years. Only 4% wanted to leave below that, below um, half a year. But then when we looked at the results from the alumni, what actually happens is that um, a fourth ends up leaving um, earlier than six months of their first employment. So even though we want to um, stay and we want to give um, the employer something back, we something about what they offer us or something about the real job market is not aligning with what we expected right. and one solution that we learn in school about is that what often happens is that employers and firms they just talk about the good stuff in a position mm -hmm. and they tend to leave out the challenges the obstacles that just are especially in our industry it's hard mm -hmm. and they don't talk about it so realistic um, job descriptions are very very important being honest with the applicant from the beginning um, because those, like building that relationship helps to actually keep uh, people in the industry and in the job as yeah, well. Yeah, of course, great. With graduating students from schools like yourselves, what would be a typical entry role for them straight out of school in, in the industry? What's their expectation of the type of role that they're going to land? So I think what's a problem, I, I think that's not only a problem in our industry, but it's a problem of our generation. We are not patient enough, so we want too much too early. Um, we have had a great life, uh, not a lot of challenges mostly, um, we're lucky to have to be able to say that, but people my age, they want to have a great job right out of uni, which is not realistic at all. Mm. Um, so that's also one reason why they, they quit really early on, because they're so frustrated, it, because what they were expecting um, is not what they actually um, see once they start. Mm. Um, a normal position or a realistic one is a management traineeship, for example, for either 12 months or 18 months um, with a company where you rotate through different departments. Yeah. It's a very hard program. It's not easy. Yeah. Um, it's often also not that well paid, but you learn a lot. I think we've all so, done that. Exactly. So I think um, you, especially when you just graduate, you have to be expecting to um, 
work hard, mm. but um, you have to see the greater value behind it. So you, you still have a lot to learn, even if you like graduate from a good school, mm. it's still the beginning of your career and that's fine. You're mm. in your 20s, it's okay. You'll yeah. be working until you're 70, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I feel like that's a, a big mismatch. And I think schools, um, especially really, really good schools with a great name, are not doing enough in preparing their students what, what they're gonna face once they graduate. Mm. So there should be, again, a bit more honest um, because that's basically preparing them for what is gonna um, be the real situation. Sure and just from the final question that I'd like to ask is from a technology perspective mm -hmm. do you feel that graduating students have enough of a grasp around modern technology that support hotels today? I really don't think so unfortunately. Um, I, I know it's, it's hard because obviously it's always changing obviously um, it's it's a challenge as well for um, the people that create the programs and um, also as we all know schools are institutions that do not change easily it needs approval from a lot of different uh, levels of management but um, I definitely think that for example coding is not in our not in our high schools not in our bachelor programs only if you do study um, IT mm. and it is a skill that I think it almost every industry like every management level it's only beneficial to you if you know how like the basics of coding work mm -hmm. or as well like we, we're not as informed about what's happening and what's being um, innovated in our industry unless you do it on your own time but right. in school um, I feel like there could be more that to be done um, but I, I understand I understand as well from the schools that it is hard for them because there there are just these challenges for them to change the program so rapidly yeah yeah so I think the reason why I'm asking is because there are such a, a varying range of available opportunities for tech and one doesn't necessarily need to have a grasp of coding it's more about knowing what technology to use mm -hmm. for the particular discipline of work that you need to achieve or for the, sure the target for you need sure. to achieve. so I'm, I was curious to find out if when you guys leave that you could you would understand how to best apply you know, channel management systems or mm -hmm. revenue management systems yeah. or that type of thing within I your feel own. like often what happens is you scratch the surface yeah. so they do try to give us an idea of what is in the market and then when you go into an internship for example I saw I work with a lot of programs and systems that I actually have heard of before mm -hmm. but you just don't have the time in the class itself to actually use them and like try them out right. because it, there's just no time yeah. but at least you've heard like of them and you know what they are supposed to do so when you start working with them you're not totally blind going into it mm. so I think they're 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 doing a good job in that sense okay. they are sh certainly like giving us the information but then you have to do the final steps sure good okay one last question okay what are your career aspirations when you graduate um, where, so I graduate in a year mm -hmm. um, I I'm very open, of course. Um, I mean, it's a year. A lot can happen in 12 months. Mm -hmm. um, I do know, though, that I don't want to stay in Switzerland right after uh, graduating because I am from here. So for me, as a Swiss person, especially in this industry, if you stay in Switzerland right after graduation, you're not going to leave because the benefits and uh, just the salaries are too high. Like, it's very unlikely you're gonna leave. Mm. So I want to find a job um, somewhere either in Europe or in the States probably um, and I would love to do a hotel opening. So cool. Let's well, I'm see. sure you'll get plenty of opportunities <laughs> to do that. Let's see. Lovely to meet you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>